Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and today I am going to be playing with a bunch of new BYS makeup. I've got a new foundation and then some items from their futuristic and heat collection. So if you're excited for this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. Okay, let's uh, bring it in, shall we? So, starting out, I have the Face Fix Foundation and this says it is an anti-blemish foundation. Our non-irritating formulation helps hide bumps and neutralizes redness. With the much loved addition of tea tree oil and salicylic acid, it also helps to fight acne causing bacteria. Interesting. So usually I color correct. I always go in with a green primer to help neutralize this redness. I'm not going to do that today. We'll see how the foundation goes. So this does come in a squeezy tube and what I love is that it has a pump. Oh, how good is that? This retails for $11.95. I have the lighter shade Ivory and unfortunately the shade range is very small like their previous foundation releases. There are only five shades available. I did question BYS when I reviewed their full coverage and their glass glow foundation and they did reply to me saying that they release a few foundation shades, see how they go in the market, and then decide whether or not to expand the range. I can see where they're coming from, but it's also a little bit frustrating because then not everyone is able to try the range in the first place. So I have two pumps of ivory on this palette, and it actually looks quite fair, which is good. Let me pop a bit on. It is a thicker formula. It might be a bit too light for me. We'll see if it covers up these big red pimps. I'm going to go in with my Sigma F80 Air Flat Kabuki Brush to blend this out. Okay, so that's blending out really nicely with the brush. I definitely think you would need a brush. I feel like the foundation is just a little bit too thick for a sponge. This F80 Air Kabuki brush is a newer one to my collection and it's made with duo fiber bristles. So they're a lot more flexible and I find they give a bit more of a lighter coverage when blending out your foundation, which I think was a really good choice for this one. I think if I went in with a normal Kabuki brush or like I said, a sponge, it just might have been a bit too thick of a formula and therefore felt really heavy on the skin. Okay, well that shade isn't too bad now that it's blended in. I've definitely got a medium coverage. As you can see, a lot of these blemishes are still showing, but I've been into more of a lighter coverage lately, so I'm actually digging this. I am going to go in with a concealer though and just cover up these bigger blemishes. So I'll be using my L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in the shade 322. For concealer under my eyes, I'm going to use the BYS Full Coverage Camouflage Concealer in the shade Ivory. All right, so my concealer is blended in. The base is looking nice, except it does look just a little dry around my chin. My skin has been a bit iffy lately with the cooler weather and these breakouts. So that could be it because it looks really nice on my cheeks and even my forehead. So, hmm. I'm going to quickly finish the rest of my face and then I'll be back to play with a new eyeshadow palette. For eyeshadow, I'll be going in with the new foil palette. This has 12 metallic shades, so there are no mattes in this palette. Now, usually I would gravitate towards this beautiful group of neutrals, but these bluey green shades, oh, oh, they are so freaking pretty. So I want to go in with those. Now I do want a matte shade to put in my crease. So I'm going to go in with the BYS Crystal Palette and there is a cool toned brown shade in here. This one here called Healing. So I'm just going to take that on a fluffy brush. This is the Sigma E40 and pop this in my crease.
I'm going to go for a halo eye look, starting out with the deepest bluey green called Modernistic. Okay, wow. So the brush I'm using is the Sigma E56. This is the shader lip brush. It is so good for metallic and shimmer shadows. And then I'm swapping to my Sigma E54 Medium Sweeper just to lightly blend those edges. Then I'm going to take this gorgeous shade called Vibrance and pop this in the center of the lid. And then with my finger, I'm tapping into the white shade called Icy. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of that right on top to give it a bit of extra sparkle. I think I might actually go in with the purple and put that on the lower lash line. Oh my God, it's such a pretty shade. There's a new mascara as well. This is called the Lash Dimensions Waterproof Mascara. It says that the formula is volumizing, buildable, and lifts lashes evenly, featuring an innovative ball tip wand designed to help grab the hard to reach lashes. Oh, okay, let's check this out. Oh, so it's very, very flexible. And on the very tip there, can you see? So if I use that ball tip to grab at those inner lashes, those lashes in the inner corner. So it's definitely given my lashes a lot of length, not so much volume, but I'll go in with a second coat now. Yeah, the second coat definitely helps. Okay, I like the tip of the wand for doing the lower lashes. All right, I will just finish the other eye and be right back. All right, so these are the eyes done. I've just done some swatches as well. They are so wonky, but I just wanted to show you all the colors. I think that this is such a beautiful range of colors. God, my swatching is terrible. I like that some of them are metallic and then some of them are a little bit iridescent, like these two lighter blues here. Next, I have the Metal Lips Metallic Lipsticks. Now they don't look overly metallic, so I'm just going to give them a swatch and see what they look like. Oh my God, these are so creamy. <gasps> Ooh, okay, let me swatch that. Oh God, this is gonna be, look at that. <gasps> oh. So the first shade is Bombshell. This shade is Gleaming. We've got Limelight and Luster. So yeah, they do have a little bit of a sheen to them, but nothing overly metallic, which is nice. So they're definitely still very wearable. And then from the Heat Collection, I have three lip glosses. These are the High Shine Lip Gloss. I really, really loved the Glass Glow Lip Glosses. So I'm hoping these are similar. Look, I am just so drawn to this nude gloss, but let me swatch them all. So this shade is Blaze. Ooh, damn. This shade is Heat, and this is Ignite. Look, because my eyes are very bright, I'm going to go in with the most neutral shades of the bunch. So the lipstick I'm going to choose is Luster. I am just going to go in with a little bit of the lightest gloss as well. I'm going to use my finger though, so I don't put the dark color on the wand. All right guys, well this is the finished look, something very bold and bright for me, which I haven't done in a really long time. The foundation, I'll definitely need to test out a little more. I only powdered under my eyes on top of my concealer, so I didn't powder anywhere else on my face, and I feel like it's still sitting really nicely, although I think it has oxidized a little bit, so I'm not too sure 
Do you see that or is it just me? I'll definitely give an update on the foundation in one of my product update videos. The eyeshadow palette I really loved. If you're looking just for a bunch of metallic shimmery shades, I definitely think this is the way to go. It's got a nice variety and they are super, super bright and pigmented. I'm definitely excited to try out the more neutral shades in this palette. The mascara did a pretty good job. I still would like there to be a little bit more volume with my lashes, but I loved the little ball tip for my lower lashes. I feel like they are looking really nice and long and kind of spidery. Is that how you would describe it? And then as for the lipsticks, a beautiful formula, super comfortable, and they applied so easily. They are very bold shades, which again is something that I've just steered away from a little bit, but maybe I'll have to start playing with them again. And the gloss, look, I'm excited to get this on my lips by itself. <gasps> and then I think the other two bright shades will actually be really nice if you're doing like a minimal makeup look, like a nice fresh dewy base, minimal eyes, and then a nice bright glossy lips. So maybe I'll have to try that out next time. Well, if you enjoyed watching, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I have a bunch of other BYS reviews that I will link down in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and you can also come follow me over on Instagram and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye. Just me again, real quickly. Um, as you can see, I've changed my lip color. I just used a nude lip liner and just the High Shine Lip Gloss in Ignite. Okay. <laughs> this is my kind of nude shade, like, I'll be getting a lot of use out of this lip gloss. Thank you. Goodbye. Ah, me blender. Ah, shit. <sighs> Got it. Foiled metallic.